So are we back? Let me know in chat if you guys can hear me. Back, great. Um, let me just check if uh, people from YouTube can can see it. Are we back? Anyone from YouTube that can confirm that we're back? We're back, perfect. All right, so, hey, Talon. Welcome, and thanks for the sub, for the follow, actually. Hopefully someday I'll be able to do subs, not at this point. All right, so here we go. We're gonna unbox the KBD fans tofu. And I think I have more things here than only the tofu, but that's a good problem to have. Let's start peeling this onion, right? It's a lot always like that. Hey Andres, so I heard that it's it's readily available on the website. I'm not sure. It it had a, a group buy going, but I think it was Arctic Fox that said that there were there were a few units readily available. But the way I got mine was they opened like maybe 10 units for sale before doing the GB. And I just jumped at one because it sold out in like minutes. Okay. Oh, you know what I should have done? Let, let me do that because I'm cool. Let me show you what I should have done. This is what I bought. Like I can be well done for one day. Ha. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to do that, but I bought those gloves. <laughs> you just bought those as well? Yeah, I think everybody's getting those. I I got I have to tell you, I don't feel very comfortable with gloves, so I don't know if I'm gonna use them on stream or not. They are super cheap. I got like three pack for what? Nine, ten dollars. All right, so let's see what we have here. Ta-da! It's not the tada, right? Wrong song. I have some silence, uh, silent X silence things for my um, HHKB. So those came with some feet here, some sample um, sample keycaps, and then you have our, our main event here, along with I bet non non magnetical screws that I'm gonna probably just throw off as usual and here's the main attraction guys the tofu let's take a look oh you have it silenced do you prefer it all right let me switch to the action cam a little bit so we can take a look at this um Profile here. Let me take a look at the anodizing. I don't see any streaks. Maybe a one here, right? Yeah, there's a one. But I, I can bet. No, I think it's. I don't know. I can barely see it with my my eyes, but I can see it on camera. Yeah, I think it looks really good. The anodizing looks really, really good. There is a minor blemish here. I don't know if you, even if you guys will be able to see it. Let me see if I can put some light. 
but it's a microscopic thing. Let's see. Uh, focus, please. Okay, right here. Here. Can you guys see it? It's like a microscopic thing. If I find something else. Yeah, I really like um, those lines, those rough lines. I think this is one of the best looking cases. <laughs> That's a deal breaker, right? I'm returning it right now. You know, when you can't find anything, you need to complain about the small things, right? The bottom as well is pretty nice. I don't see any problems. And the inside, yeah, no, I can't complain at all about this case. Looks really good. Can't wait to build this guy. Um, you know what I'll do? Oh, and there comes my camera again doing that. Let, let's move back to the top view. All right, you know what I'll do? I think I have another thing that I can unbox here on the same stream, which is this. I'm gonna leave this case here so we can keep an eye on it. But I ordered, I think, four um, DZ60 to go with the cases that I bought. You can unbox that right now. What do you guys think? Should I go for it? I'm curious because I know it's not only D60. I think there's more stuff here. Let's do it, right? Okay, here we go. But just to finalize about the tofu, I think for the price, it's one of the best things you can buy. I think it, I like it better. You know what I can do before I unbox that thing? Let me get my Tina so we can compare them side by side. If I can find it, where is it? Tina, where are you? Oh, here it is. Grab this. It is, uh, one that of them is USB-C. The others are regular USB mini. My, my all, all my good looking cables are USB, uh, USB mini. So I didn't want to mess with that. Yeah, no underglow, no diffusing, no, no nothing. Yeah, right. That's the only, the only bummer. So let's see about the angle here. Let's take a look at the angle. Yeah, so this have a higher angle, I think, than this. Um, I can wait it later for you, but I think it's a little bit lighter from feeling alone. And of course, this is a built one, but they are, yeah, the T9 is heavier for sure. It's noticeable, but I can wait them later. I wish I had uh, my scale here, but I don't. So it seems to be a little bit lighter than the Tina, even though I'm not sure. Yeah, Tina is tray mount, same thing as the as the tofu. All right, let's continue this unboxing thing. Oh, I forgot that I ordered some. Oh, come on, focus. Would you mind? There we go. I ordered some. I liked. <laughs> so here's what happened. I ordered a G, G, GK64, and they came with cheap um, Gateron yellows. And then I think it, I don't remember if it was that one Oscar that told me to lube them. And I really like them lubed. So I ordered a couple more. They're super cheap on KBD fans. So I ended up ordering, I think, 100 of them, maybe 70. I don't know. So there we have some get on yellows. And we have a bunch of DZ60s here for my dudes. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like Christmas. So I ordered, uh, I think, three plates, if I recall correctly. Uh, even No, I think only two. Because, let's see, maybe I have two of those here. No, only one. And I ordered one steel and one aluminum. It was you, right, that one, Oscar? That's what I thought. Yeah, I really like them. I put them on this GK64. Uh, let me grab this board. Remove this aside. So I have this GK64, and let, let's see if you guys can hear it. I, I really like the come on, the the feeling of this board now that it's looped and it has a very light um, spring. So I really like this switch after lubing. So that's why I bought more. I was impressed by them lubed. They are like a very low, low budget uh, vintage black or black. So here we go. We have, this is probably the steel plate. Very boring. This is the aluminum plate. And then I think I, I have like three of them that are USB mini. This is USB mini. I bought, I think, three of those. And then I wanted to the two black stems on RGB housings are so nice. Yeah, I need to try that. I haven't tried that yet. So this is another USB-C, uh, USB mini. So I'm not going to even bother with this. Another, yeah, USB mini in here. And then finally we have the USB-C, so we can do a comparison of them, let's see. So from the top, I think they don't have any differences from what I can see. Uh, I know that one of them doesn't have the reset button and the other should have, unless they don't have the reset button, even on the USB, USB mini. It doesn't look like they do. They used to have like a reset button, but it doesn't seem to, to be the case anymore, not even on the USB mini, I don't know if you guys can see it, but no, no reset button here. Yeah, it used to be around here. So, yeah. So I think there, there are basically no differences anymore between them along, besides the, the connector. I don't see any differences at all, which makes sense, right? Yeah. The main reason I bought them is because I liked the reset button, but I don't think we have reset buttons anymore. All right, let me put this away. Let me see if I can unbox something else. And still want that option. So I think I missed part of the chat. I think we, we stream had a hiccup. Let me see if I can see what you're talking about. Uh, to which. Wow, another 110, how long did it take you? Yeah, that's why I don't get it. They still offer the case with the hole here, but no reset button anymore. I used to like that for like flashing boards and whatnot. I used to like that, having that option at least. 
So let me set this aside and let's unbox something else as well. Let's see here. I have another um, another board here, the another PCB, the YD60 BLE. And Chokan, I don't know if you're there yet, it's still. Yeah, Tofu has the hole at the bottom, Arctic. Uh, but you asked me to do like a video on the YD60 BLE, and I, mine was still, um, mine was already done. So what I'm, what I'm gonna try and do now is uh, try to capture my build uh, on camera and try to do like an explanation of how to put this board together, how to find a good battery and whatnot. So that's what I wanna do. So let me go back to the top view, which I think is better for unboxing in general. Yeah, spacebar and B is, what, is it, that's what I do usually. And that works. And another thing I do, I don't know if you guys do that. I always map a, something on my second or third layer for resetting the board. In my case, what I do is for the older boards is function um, and backslash. So I, I always do that as well. Guys, you don't know how much I miss streaming. I'm happy you guys are here. Oh, <laughs> now Keith. <laughs> no, but seriously, I missed you guys. I love doing this. I wanted to do this while I was... Oh, you're pristine. Why don't I bring your pristine? So we can show people your pristine. Are you talking about this? Is this what you want to see? Let's Let's take a look. Why not? There we go. There's your pristine. I can even give you a closer look. Anything you wanna see in particular? That's a pristine, right? And I'm gonna keep the space bars if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm not. So this is not mine, folks. This is Arctic Foxes. You want to see your card? Yeah. Ask for extra pictures. Oh, it's already left. Carpenter's Road. Carpenter's Crossing, actually. All right. So let's see what we have here on this very... Oops. I think I ordered some springs. I hear that KBD fans um, springs are, the weights are bottom out. So I have 67 grams. And what I'll do soon is try them again, you know, put this on a switch and try them with um, another 67 grams from Sprit. So I ordered those and I ordered some 62s as well to see how they are. And I'll tell you guys if they're good or not. I also ordered this. Thing. It was like on sale. I think it was two dollars. This is like a switch puller and um, uh, keycap puller. Uh, doesn't seem to be very useful, but I went ahead and ordered that. And so we have a very very bent. Uh, <laughs> look at this bent. Um, steel plate I think I made it a little better but it's still bent and then of course finally we have the YD60 BLE um, that I'm gonna be doing that hopefully doing a, a video about soon enough Let's take it out of the box it is good nice 
Nice. I, I haven't tried it. We can try it. Let's try it. Let's see. Very nice indeed. At least for. Hey, Alex, how are you? All right. Let's set this aside. And take a look at this. Um, so here we have the battery plug. What? I think my on off switch came fucked up. Excuse my French. Um, let me see if I can show you this. This is going to be a problem, especially when I want to turn it off. Usually this thing here, let me see if I can instead of the zoom in and show you the problem. I don't have one here to compare because my other one is built, but here's the problem. This thing here is supposed to have a little plastic thing. I, I may return this thing because I don't know. It's really hard to see, but it's supposed to have a little plastic thing that Come, goes out of this like so you can switch it on or off without this is going to be almost impossible to turn this on and off Let's see if i can get a good angle yeah it's supposed to be like a switch on off switch hey ben news caps thanks for the follow it's really appreciated thank you so yeah we don't have that here and I'll need like a toothpick to even change this on and off. I'll see what I'll do about it. But I'm not very happy with that. All right. Let me move back to here. There we go. All right. Uh, I have a question for you guys. Should I keep going? I have a, probably one or two things more to unbox. Should I keep going? I don't mind. <laughs> One or two, yeah. No, I, I don't want to unbox any major stuff. Uh, I want to do like a dedicated unbox for those, but let's keep going. Next one here is a DSA key set um, from KBD Fence. Hey, XX, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. But thank you for the follow, nevertheless. Thank you so much. It's really appreciated. HHKB is my daily driver. It has been my daily driver for the past month or so as I was traveling. I really like it now. I like it so much. Let me tell you a story. So I went to the to US last month. Uh, I arrived today, actually. So I stayed there a month or there a month. And I brought all my SA caps because I don't like SA anymore. So I brought them to sell them, right? And I sold, I, I, I brought five different sets and I sold three, right? So the day before I left, a guy reached out and said, do you want to swap or trade your... SA Nantucket for my HHKB. And I already had this one, right? I bought this one. And so I asked, what, what color is it? And he said, it's white. And I thought and thought, and I said, you know what? I don't want to leave with a set that I'm not going to use. So what I did is I, I traded it. And now I have both a black and a white HHKB. This one is used. Um, it's a little bit beat up, doesn't have ASU or anything yet. But the interesting part is I like the beat up switches way better than mine, my stock. So that was a plus. So what I'm doing next is I'm cleaning this because it's really dirty. And I'm also going to do like I'm going to lube it. I'm going to probably add some silence rings and whatnot. But I, I was pretty happy with this trade, to be honest. And I swear to you guys, it was like last couple of days, right? I had enough time to only um, to for USPS to deliver it and it had to be priority and everything but I, I, I was glad because I, I am not using SA anymore for anything 
Yeah, Arctic Fox, I really recommend you get an HHKB. It's a, for me, it was a game changer. I really love this thing. But for me, it was my first top free, top free as well, right? I know you already have a, the Leopold, so it's not going to be your, your first one. So. I just want to keep the tofu here because he's the main subject of this live, right? So let's keep it there. Oh, rest the bus, you got you got yours today. Oh, I didn't know. I love it. I love the HHTV. So if I recall correctly, this is supposed to be a, D, a DSA key set that was on sale on KBD fans or XDA. And it's it has some different, yeah, that's the one. Like with this, I don't know how those things are called, but they are like different um, alphas than what we used to, so. We have that, and I wanted some DSA because I'm gonna get some Ergo um, builds, I'm gonna build an Iris. So I wanted some uniform profile key sets. I can probably put this on a board. Let's see which board. Uh, let's try on a board with, um, does it work on a 40%? I don't think so. Let's see which one. Uh. Yeah, that's the one. And NPKC DSA keycaps, exactly. And we got ourselves a, let me see, I'm probably gonna just put it on the 60%. Let's see. I'm gonna put them only on this part for the sake of time. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this because this is a hot swap board and we're gonna be taking out the switches along with the caps. So let me choose something else. I'm going to put it on my N Pro because this has like a very standard layout, so it should be easier to do. That's not Insto. That uh, originates uh, black on black. I do have Insto, though. Insto black on black. And I know someone that's going to own one pretty soon as well. Am I right? This is an N-Pro, but I changed a lot of, on this board. Like it, it has like Hako clears switches and it does have Cherry Genuine plate mount um, steps as well, lubed and band-aid modded and the whole thing. This is how you take out keycaps, guys. Do, do try this at home. Exactly. If this thing comes out, who cares? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't do this at home. I do it all the time. I don't mind. I don't care. But don't try it at home.
I hate new keycap pullers. Let me get a node one. I think I have way too many. The old keycap pullers are the best. So you don't have to bend them. I think it's Lord of the Rings, you're right. You're sending this clip to Anthony, please don't. I don't want to be abandoned by our father. And all around Senpai as well, right? Okay. Looks like we got this out of the way. Move this aside. Let's take a look at those. Mr. Weebs, remind me what, you, what is Weebs again. I read about it, but I forgot. Oh, Weebs, yeah, wanna be Japanese, got it, the. Because there's another expression called do weeb with a D before the W and it's something else. I don't, I don't remember what it is. We talking Imstel? We are. What do you wanna know? I can show you my Imstel. It's interesting how they set this up. Look, it goes all the way to here, and then the other part is here, right? The minus it goes all the way to the minus, and then the plus is here, and the backspace is here. So it kind of overflow from this side to the other. It's really interesting. So what I'll do, I'm, I'm gonna start from this side. And don't have a heart attack, but this is not the same colors as the mods, which I prefer as well. Now you need to send it to Anthony, Arctic Fox. And look at this guy here, you see? You know why this is this? Because I was having a lot of trouble desoldering this switch in particular. So I said, you know what? I already um, left, lift, lifted the the pads in two um, switches, so I don't wanna fuck this up. <clears throat> so that's why, <clears throat> sorry, we have this um, steel and gather on black uh, browns. Triple dare you. I'll go ahead and triple dare you as well. All right, so this side is done. Move this aside. Let's continue here. Oh, what language? It's English. If you're talking about the insto.
the good thing about this being um, being XDA is that I don't need to invert the spacebar and cause heart attacks all over. But look at this. This is horrible. Look at this shift. Why is it shifted, no pun intended, to the side? This is horrible. Why isn't it centered? Same thing with the right. Yeah, this is a little more centered, but this one? No, right? Fuck that. Yeah, that, that was a bad mistake. Let me tell you that. Okay, let's see. Let me take out this guy from here so we can take a look at this. I like the legends. I don't think they're bad or anything. I don't like this shift here. That infuriates me. But other than that, I think it looks, yeah, this shift is a little weird as well. Other than that, I don't mind anything else. The caps lock seems to be a little off center as well, or am I? Crazy. Yeah, the shift is terrible, terrible, terrible. Let's see. Um. Yeah, this shift, oh my God. Right? But other than that, other than that, I think that the set does look acceptable. But that shift, for me, uh, if I knew about this shift, it would be a deal breaker. I don't know about you guys. I, I don't like that shift at all. Like, it kills the set for me, like, instantly. Anyways. Anything else about the set? Uh, if not, we can move on and try to unbox something else. <laughs> I'm on a streak, guys. I don't want to stop. What do you guys think? Should we unbox something else? If you don't say no, I'm going to go ahead and unbox something else. Put this aside. Okay, I have a few small boxes here that I can unbox one of them is the i think was it anthony that got a show god clsm no not right now <laughs> i'll do it in a few um but this is like the kp republic um pbt set so let me unbox this Twenty four hours, here you go. <laughs> Let's see. I think that this is a small box for such a large set. So I think I'm mistaken and this is not what I think it is. Let's see. And it is. 
but I ordered like 30 different sets, like different kits for the same set. So did they manage to fit everything here? They did. There you go. Talk about packaging skills. Is this a, this looks like, yeah, no, this is the PBT set, like the default one from KP Republic. Yeah, such a small box, I was confused by it. Should we use the same board? Do you guys mind? Where's the accent? Yeah. All the accent you get is from me. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to put it here. I'm just gonna show you guys a few caps if you don't mind. This is not that nine thousand and nine, I think. Yeah, let me. So it looks like the quality is really good. I don't see problems with the legends. Let's see some modifiers here. Yeah, I think they're nice. They are thick BBT. There are no exits though. So I got base, as you guys can see here. I got mods. I got pro, which I think is some 40% compatibility stuff. So we have like a small, come on camera, small backspace. We have a control here. Is this control warped? warped? Yeah, even the control is a little warped. Let's see the space bars. Let's try that because I ordered the space bars kit. Here. Let's use this area here to see if we can tell if they are rubbed or not. They looked rough, to be honest. Let's see. <laughs> you guys can tell already, right? They're pretty rough. So this is going to be a nightmare for st stabilizers. There's a rough thing here as well, like a finishing problem. But since I use the space part this way, oh yeah, really warped, warped. I can't tell if I speak that word. Let's see the others, the smaller ones. Uh, yep, warped. This one, smaller one. No, this is not warped. Let's see this one here. Little bit warped as well. So yeah, if you guys think about buying this set, be aware of the PBT problem. It's not. It's definitely a lot unique to this set. Every PBT set is just that there are stupid people like me that order a fucking spacebar set in PBT. Right? It makes no sense. Thinking of it now. Okay. Um, let's see what's next. This one, I don't think, oh, there it is. So those are MX clears. Let's take a look. Warp factor six, yes. Yeah, not something very different or out of the ordinary with this one. 
just MX clears from switch top. I think each one of those maybe have like 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, 70 MX um, clears. I'm going to play with them a little bit, uh, mod them later on. Make this aside. Uh, I have two more small boxes, so when we finish the small boxes, I'm going to stop the, the stream. So we have some sliders here. I'm always careful to not show my address, otherwise you guys are going to come down here to Brazil and murder me. So those are supposed to be MX sliders for Topri. Something I want to try eventually. Okay, what color are those? I am colorblind, and I was gonna say those are teal, but I don't know if those are, those are this is the correct color. It's a Tiffany blue, what is that? What color is this? So I got two kits of those, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them both. Maybe. If, if they're nice, I may try to use both. Still don't know. I know you have to drill a hole or something. Is that, is that still the case? To use those, especially the mods. So let me open one of those so we can take a look at the slides, sliders. This is how they look, and now my camera. I don't know why it does this sometimes. So yeah, and then supposedly we can do MX on Topri, right? And I know that some sliders, especially I think the JTK sliders, had issues with um, caps like pulling out of the, oh, but it's a very tight, oof. Very tight fit. I think it's because this is PVT, uh, so that's probably the issue. But they are really tight, so I I fear pu pulling them from the board. But yeah, so those are the sliders themselves. And let me get a modifier here so we can see a modifier as well. This is really hard to open, by the way. Oof. There we go. So those are the mods. So those are the things that you insert the stabs, and then you get your MX. And I think people are saying you need to drill a hole because of this, right? I don't know. I don't know what the... I didn't read about it yet, but yeah, you get all those mods. Looks like we have another kind here. I don't know what this one is for. Maybe the space bar, I don't know. I'm not familiar with this one. There are a couple of this as well. Real force RGB. I know that people did use Nova, Nova Touch sliders on Topri, if I recall correctly. Not sure about um, Real Force RGBs. 
Uh, I was gonna unbox this, but this is like Royals, so boring. Let me see what else I can unbox from here. I have something nice to unbox here. It's a, uh, it's a uh, key set. But what I need to do is to take out my address first. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Done. So this is nice as well. If you guys stream a lot and you, let me see if I have my address somewhere else. Uh, it doesn't look like, no. So if you guys stream a lot, what you can buy is one of those um, stamps. And then what it does is if you do it, it puts this confidential thing on top of your name. So you don't disclose um, your address and things like that. So let's unbox this. I think this is the G GMK 9009 or 9009, if you like it that way better, but I'm not sure. It comes from England. You can see the queen here. So it comes from England, the land of our loved Chokan. So it comes from your, your former home, Chokan. Yeah, Nova Touches are not common anymore because they are no longer being done, right? They are discontinued, basically. God save the queen. Yeah, did you guys see what Trump did with the queen today? Oh my God. <laughs> he walked in front of her almost didn't let her pass. That was interesting. Okay, so now we have GMK 9009. I think we have some accents here. Yes, we do. Can you guys see it? Take a look at a couple of them here. Yeah, those are typical gem case, so the quality is always nice. Let me get some of the accents. I think they're more interesting than this. This is a very thin, let me move here. Like this guy put it on a kind of a bag, super thin. So I need to put them on zip locks later. And this is another of those bags. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's not mods. I think mods are mixed up because I only see like a small enter. A different color. I hope I have the accent because I bought it with accents. Let's see if I can find the accents here. Yeah, I think they're here. Look, just got the accented enter. So we're good. All right, guys, um, before I wrap this up, is there anything in particular you guys, oops. Is there anything in particular you guys want to see? I think it's only base kit, um, not sure. I still have to take a look in detail. I don't remember, but I see a few blanks as well.
All right. Um, so I am about to wrap this up. Anything else I can show you before I wrap up? I don't know, I don't know if you guys want to see anything, anything at all. How long have we been going? I don't even know. So we came for the tofu and then we unboxed a bunch of stuff. But I'm happy with this. Can't wait to put it together. Looks really good. All right, guys. Um, thank you very much for joining me on my returning episode. And you guys take care and have a good night. I'll see you guys on Discord. Bye-bye.